Yeah. So see, so that was the news that I had. Now let's get in uh, real quick into the subject at hand. Now that Aquatic. All the white people are horror. done talking about black problems. Let's talk about <laughs> something different. Yeah, let's talk about water. Which is a huge <laughs> white person problem. Because we're always the ones. To be fair, that's right. To be fair, it's kind of a everybody problem because water drowns you regardless of who you are. Yep. <laughs> yeah, very fair, but we're the only ones dumb enough that's like, let's see how deep we can go and how much like I mean speak for yourself. I say the fuck out of there. <laughs> I, I hate the ocean. I fuck the it. ocean and I can't wait until it's polluted enough to die. <laughs> okay, well maybe not Jesus that far. Christ. <laughs> wow. Wow. Not the, not that far. I hate the ocean. We know more about outer space than we do our own oceans. Fuck that. Do we? Yeah. Do we? Yeah. How many fucking uh, you know what? billions yeah. of stars and planets are there? And how many all we other have galaxies? A better idea. We have a better life. idea about space and how it works than we do our own. Maybe ideas. idea, but like knowledge yeah. base. Like we just discovered that physics Probably don't enough. work the same in other galaxies than they work here. Physics. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So well, yeah. That makes sense. Does, that make does sense? it? How does it make sense to you? Because I don't understand how physics just works differently. Physics is one of the most natural things to us. <laughs> well, you guys see, we got aliens now. So, you know, there's proof yeah. that there's, there were aliens. It's so like, there's what? My thing is, uh, yeah, the proof of aliens, how they just had like the UFO thing. Yeah, the oh, Pentagon the, just the released uh, unclassified. That looks like yeah. a TIE fighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. No. Uh, but like, I don't know. And like, that's what my thing is. Anything's possible. Like it just, it doesn't make sense to me. And that's like my same justification for like believing in aliens and believing in stuff in outer space. Cause it's just like, it does it. It's so, it feels self-centered to be like, this is the way things work. And this is the only possible way that it can work. The, I mean, space is infinite. Oh, I mean, just as a logic How? standpoint, to me, it's How more of a comforting move? thing to think that there's others oh. out there. I mean, just I like to a thing, to assume like we're it. Oh, that's dark. No, what if we go away tomorrow? Dark. That's life, it's and pointless. life is just gone. It's, yeah, exactly. It's pointless. Like it's pointless if we're the only ones here. Agreed. Pretty much. I'm glad that we all feel. we all had this talk. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just I feel like it's self centered to be like, well, this is how it works here, so this is probably how it works everywhere else. Like, yeah, no, no way. No, no, that's that's true. But yeah, water sorry, though. No sucks <laughs> yes <laughs> aquatic horror so it's supposed to work a certain way but there are creatures down there that make it work other ways for them and just oh i hate the ocean <laughs> fuck the ocean i am so uncomfortable wow. with my large bodies of water so i the first time that micah had ever seen me scared and i know we had already talked about jaws in a previous episode but that was the first mm -hmm. time i could ever see me scared of a horror movie because i'm so terrified like have you ever do you ever see those uh, like the Thessal phobia posts from like BuzzFeed where it's like, mm -hmm. hey, if these images make you uncomfortable, you probably have this. Yes. It's terrifying. Oh, like the people swimming over the underwater caverns. You're already underwater. Yes. Uh, yeah, that looks even deeper. Yes. <laughs> to me, no, what gets just, me what are like the uh, the oil rigs, like the the cameras that they oh, have down there, and you just see uh -huh. like a giant fuck off squid go past. Yep. Oh. Just, Ooh, uh, I know. I hate that. I, was when, I want I was a gun the, big enough to kill that thing right there. No, you can't. Like that's it. You and that's the thing. Like in the water, you're a sitting fucking duck. You have yep. literally nothing. Like anything, yep. and that, I feel like just everything in the water wants you dead. There's the, it's it. It's uh -huh. just like it wants to eat you. It wants you away. It's either scared of you. It just doesn't want it to be anywhere near you. And I respect that. And I don't want to be part of that. Like we went to. A couple of years ago, we went to Crater Lake in Oregon. Beautiful. And, like, it's just, like, this huge uh, natural lake. And then you, like, you can see clear to the other side. That terrified me. I, like... To me, that's I cool. Just, I'm actually like, better with that because I can see everything. No, nope, Yes. No, nope, yep, me too. That yeah. me because then I, I know what's down there. Like, even if you go to the Thousand Islands when you're, like, if you get on, like, a little boat and you're just going through, like, the water, you, it's really friggin' clear. Like, you can see down to the bottom. That mm -hmm. scares me just as much because I'm like, 
okay, I know it's down there and it looks closer than it is. And I know how far down it is. And I can see the things swimming by that are faster than I am. And I just, see, I'm so uncomfortable having this conversation. Like, awesome. I'm so yeah. Oh yeah. But the hair is like, but the thing is like, bring it up to the oil rig thing. The thing that spooks me out the most is not only that it's big, but it just appears because you can't see. Yeah. And it yeah. just literally just like rolls in fucking yeah. Yeah. deep. Literally. And it's just, yeah, uh, oh, just, that to me, that spooks me. That spooks me something fierce. So, that, oh my God. I have friends that like, like to do like the dives and they go down to like the bottom of Lake Erie to find like shipwrecks. I'm like, you can't see your hand if you hold it in front of you. And all of a sudden, yeah, you're in Lake Erie. Giant... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's gross in and of itself. And then it's just like, I just, uh, I, I, hate I would, I would be down water. to do that. Like to like go down in a cage and like be with the sharks and stuff. I would be I would be pooping myself, but I <laughs> want to do it just because I think that would be cool. It's the ocean. See, like, yeah. It's the ocean. Yeah. Like just the open ocean to me that freaks mm-hmm. me out. It's terrifying. Yeah. I don't do lakes. I don't do rivers. I don't like boats. I don't like oceans. I don't like any beach hanging out uh bull sharks can swim up to nine miles in fresh water and they can swim in three feet of water you're just hanging out on the fucking yeah. beach with your legs submerged and i literally watched a video during shark week of a guy who's standing in the middle of all these bull sharks that are just like chilling and then one decides to take his calf <laughs> but yeah he's standing in the middle of a shark swarm Duh. Yeah. yeah i know but they were all just chill and there were these two guys. The one. That How do you know they were chill? Maybe they doesn't... were getting ready to take him out. Maybe they were fucking well, hurting around. <laughs> they were gonna him. lynch him. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying I agree with you. I am not arguing for this again. White person's point whatsoever. He was in the wrong. He was in their space, and he should not have been. And now he does not have a cap, and that is why I do not fuck with that. And I hate the water so much. And it. Ugh. Damn. But dude, the shark stuff, oh, yeah. like statistically, that is so comically low that he had to go oh, out of his very- way. He literally yeah. had to go out of his way. Like that dude wanted it. Yeah. Like he wanted <laughs> to get his calf ripped off. So bull sharks around Australia, like that's like the thing. And bull sharks are the most aggressive shark. On like the unless you got like, me hooked up that. to a crane with a harness that you could just pull me out, I'm not going into that. Like that's just dumb. <laughs> But, uh, well, you know, they've tried that in movies and people still didn't make it out, even though they were being hoisted up into helicopters, which is something that we will be discussing today. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, ah. uh, Eugene, which movie yes. did you, or movies did you pick and how, so Eugene, he kind of gave me a list of topics and then one of them was aquatic horror and immediately I had like two aquatic horror movies that I just loved and i'm sure we're i obviously we're going to talk about d blue c and like nice. I, oh god i, I definitely <laughs> picked that one and, and i assume that we would both jump in on it because we'd all jump in on it because it's such a classic mm-hmm. but like i it's just such a good i it's the one thing obviously as we can see that scares me so i got super excited about this one and i was like fuck yeah let's do it let's do it all right talk about it oh you want to talk about it now yeah 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 do you want all right, fuck it. We'll start off with it. I do have one more yeah. too, but like, I have to go because, like, first off, my dad is like the super corniest human being on the planet, and like, we were super excited. Like, he, when DVD players became a thing, and he just like started buying every DVD he saw. And one of them was Deep Blue Sea. So Deep Blue Sea <laughs> is a movie that I do indeed own on DVD from like yes. 2000 and whenever it came out. Yes. But because there's no first more off, new 1999 it came out. <laughs> first off, fuck everybody that talks about whoever else being the first black guy to survive in a horror movie. And so it's yeah, that wasn't true. Past few years. LL Cool J. Not only did he survive a horror movie, he survived a horror movie in water with sharks, which is like the yep. stereotypical. He should not have made it three minutes. He shouldn't have even been on there, let alone surviving that. Didn't movie. he also fight Michael, though, to be fair? Or is that somebody else? Was that no, that was uh, that was Buster Rhymes. Was Buster, Buster, Buster Rhymes. Rhymes. It was a rapper. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but LL Cool J yeah, was in a Halloween rappers. movie. 
God. All rappers. All rappers are in horror movies and they all thought Michael Myers. <laughs> but, um, no, okay, so, like, Deep Blue Sea, like, it starts off, like, you know, they're on this, they have, like, this underwater research center that goes all the mm-hmm. way to, like, the surface of the ocean and then, like, way the fuck down to, like, the bottom of the ocean. And, you know, they're testing these sharks. They're trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's, I believe. Yep, I think yep. It was. And so, th- and that's why they're going into the shark's brains. Like, they're, there's something with the fatty tissue in them that they're trying to make these sharks not smarter, but they're trying to improve their memories and see if they can, like, do that with the cell so then they can apply that to, you know, humans. Mm-hmm. And so that's what they're trying to do. So they have these sharks, and they're, they're in specific tiger sharks, which is the second most aggressive uh, shark breed in the ocean after bull sharks, but they're also larger, which makes them even scarier. And they're yep. also like garbage pits, just like great whites. Like they'll eat anything. So um, I I used to want to be an oceanographer when I was little, which I'm terrified of the ocean. So I don't. Wow. Like. But then I know. I, whatever. I choose, <laughs> I choose a life of pain for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every day I like to do something that scares me, and apparently I wanted to live my life like that at one point. So there we um, go. Yeah. What would that just be like but, for you? Um, you just be screaming constantly. Just, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Like <laughs> it would, it would get to the point where it's like the dog cartoon where he's just like sitting at the table with his coffee, like this is fine, where everything's in flames around him. Like I'd just be in a constant state of panic. So what you're saying is, like, we need to put mom. you, we need to put you in one of those deep sea <laughs> subs, like the little ones. <laughs> That you go down to like um, as low as we possibly can. Shit. I think for most of that time, I'll be on the ground, curled up in the ball, begging you to bring me up, and then I would just pass. I'll out. get a but hold. Yeah, of, let's get a hold of James Cameron. He can take <laughs> okay. you down. This is all doable. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> back to Deep Blue Sea. Yes. Um. So yeah, like that's what they're doing, and then something happens with the shark. Well, first off, they have to show um, what's his name. The curly blonde lead of the movie. Why did I just blank on his fucking Thomas name? Thomas Jane? Yes, Thomas Jane. Yeah. Thank you. But I, I kind of wanted to call him James. I'm like, no, Thomas Jane. Okay. So, of course, you have to see Thomas Jane, you know, swimming in the water all hunky. And mm-hmm. he's got, like, you know, just chilling. All of a sudden, a shark's coming at him. You're like, oh, my God, Thomas Jane, no. And he's just like, no, I fucking got this. And he does, like, the sweet, like, tumble remove. And all of a sudden, he's like riding the shark then it's just like <laughs> what the fucking fuck first off, like, you walk into this movie ll cool jay's a cook this guy's riding sharks what is going on so then like they're they have like um these you know they're they're doing like this one big experiment where they get the shark into the lab like you know they're crazy underwater whatever they have going yeah, on they have a doom they fortress the lab. it's like yeah they, they have yeah, a doom pretty, fortress yeah, it's very elaborate and very, I mean, it's cool as shit, really. So they they have the shark under and they're running the test. It, it turns out to be super successful, like the, the shark's brain, like they have everything, like they're monitoring the shark's brain and that's where they want to see the activity. It happens, but then all of a sudden, like, it goes wrong. The shark starts to become, it wakes up, the, you know, the tranquilizer wears off, rips the fucking guy's arm off. Because apparently when you're just like, first off, I don't even know, like, I forget what this guy's purpose was, but he's in, like, khakis and a Hawaiian shirt where they're, like, all, like, labbed up and stuff like that. So just, like, okay, cool. So then he's the one that ends up getting his arm ripped off. And then he's just the reason for all of this. Because, you know what, if they would have just let the shark go in, that would have been it. Like, you know, put it back in, put a belt around his arm, do that, boom. Well, he fucked it up, I feel like. Because if they didn't have to get him airlifted out in that storm... So then they came, they got him on the gurney, oh, he's ready to go, the helicopter's trying to pull him up, the storm's really fucking bad, the shark grabs, like, jumps up, grabs onto the guy's body from that, it tanks the helicopter, so, like, the helicopter goes down because the gurney is attached to it, and just completely destroys the top part of the building, pulls the guy under, I don't understand, and obviously downstairs, they don't really know what's going on, all they know is they've lost all communication, and shit's starting to, like, shake because things are blowing up. And then, like, for some reason, in this underwater lab, they feel like glass is the best thing to surround it with. <laughs> which, like... It plays the camera. I don't want... <laughs> they do that in a lot of these it movies. It plays the camera. Right? I just, like, come on, man. Come on. So they're all just like, what's going on? And in the distance, you know, some girl's like, 
oh my god, what's that? Well, sure as shit, the shark's coming up with this, the, it hasn't eaten him, it just has the gurney with the man inside of it, in its hmm. mouth. He's somehow still alive, and they're playing on the whole oxygen thing, but that shit has not been hooked up to actual oxygen in about 20 minutes. And he's, like, underwater in a shark's mouth this whole time. So, I mean, do you, fam? But then, <laughs> so the shark, genius shark, because they've made it so fucking smart, flings the body into the fucking window. Window spider, like, the spider web happens, and everybody's like, oh, fuck, we gotta get out of here. And then more panic and chaos ensues as the place starts to fill with water, and my anxiety goes somehow higher than it already is (laughs) and and so basically at that point it was kind of a race to get to the top but like safely and also fight the flooding and also fight off the sharks that have found their way in and good god ll cool j is the fucking first off he has this bird Mm -hmm. and sings with And he's just, like, chilling, trying to, like, live his life, you know, do whatever, be a cook, make the food, and then everything starts happening. So he's, like, everybody's freaking out, trying to find their way out, and then he's alone on the other side, like, trying to make his way to them. And so, of course, people are slowly picked off by sharks during the movie. And, again, this is all just a horrible idea. And, again, the glass windows, I still can't wrap it up. (laughs) It, like, why why would you you're underwater you are like that is the one our, our uncharted territory and you know how much you need like pressure i just i don't why who was martha stewart <laughs> just like you know what i want a hand in this and i feel like you guys need a really open concept here because it just <laughs> I, I just feel like it'll make the room bigger and it'll make you guys feel less like you're underwater even though you, all you're seeing right now is fucking water like it just doesn't make any sense to me at all <laughs> At all. But does it not make sense to you? I, I don't. Does, no. I don't, I'm not sure. Guys, I'm not sure either. Guys. What was it? What was it made <laughs> out of again? Glass. Oh, okay. Glass. 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 And they were surrounded by water? water. Was it water? There's water. Yep. Was There's the water, water deep there. and blue? No. Now it was a deep blue sea. <laughs> okay. The main question was: Did, did it, make it make sense? sense? It didn't. It did. It made no sense. Do you what? Do you think it made sense? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, agree. I agree with you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's just like the ultimate of why. And then, so, but also, my favorite thing was I learned that you can use a wetsuit to insulate yourself if you ever want to electrocute a shark, because in their need for nudity, there's a scene where the brainy, the brainy scientist lady. You know, she's in the the file room where she has to get the file because, you know, they obviously still at some point found a cure. So they're just like, oh, shit, we need to get this out. So she's trying. That's like her main priority in all of this is no longer not only survival, but like making sure that the work isn't completely lost. So she's like off on her own, goes into like the locker. And of course, a shark follows her in there. So she's got to fight that. And she's like standing on this desk and she sees an electrical wire behind her. She's just like, hell yeah. So she, of course, has to get out of her incredibly clean wetsuit, and she's in, like, you know, the bra and panties, and that's the only nudity you get from the movie. I mean, to be fair, that stuff, like, it's designed to be clingy, to be fair. Yes. The bra and panty stuff, maybe not, but, all right. Well, I mean, kind of, yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, so, and it was wet. It's coincidental. It's coincidental sexy. Yeah. Yeah. So it just happens to be sexy. You're welcome, everybody. Yeah, so she she peels her way out of it, and then so she has to, like, stand on the wetsuit on top of the thing so she can, like, electrocute the shark, which is very smart on her part, but also is it? she's still, no, the- because she's still standing on it, and the wires are still in the water, and she has to get down at some point, and then, like, I mean, I'm sure with the amount of voltage that comes through there, it has to stop at some point, so it's not like the entire ocean is electrified, like, obviously yeah. other people are safe, but if in that immediate vicinity, she was not safe when she got I mean, down. could she pull the wire back out? No, no, it just electrocuted the shark, and then she's like, "Okay, I'm safe now." But it's like, no, just because it's going, that's not how science. Mm-hmm. But I mean, is but, but maybe like is the wire like how did she put the wire in there? Stuck it in the water. But like, so she, she had to be able to grab it. Wall. Could she not? Yeah. Pull it right back out. It was well. It was insulated. No, it was like a big tube that was like stuck on the wall. Okay. It insulated. I don't remember this movie it. at all, for the record. So. Oh. 
well, this movie, movie this movie is remembered for like course. one yeah, scene. Yeah, I remember the the, the 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 speech scene. Yeah, that's all yeah. I remember. So that's all anybody remembers. Yeah. And it's a great movie, though. Well, L. Jackson, that death was. I have to give them all first top ten off, anime betrayals. Where did all, like they're back? I don't. Oh no! Wait, this was a different room. Never that mind. shark got looked, air. Looked, by the way. <laughs> that shark when it went for him it got air. oh my god <laughs> it did he wasn't that close to it either like he wasn't like on the edge if it was the edge i can understand no. but he was like Mm-mm. that thing was like mm-hmm. how did he even yeah, know where he was because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so smart because it's got super senses because it doesn't have alzheimer's pat that's it so so basically what you're saying is all the only reason sharks don't dominate everything is because they have alzheimer's that's it yes okay pretty much that i actually um i will i have to figure out how to put it in mla citation for deep blue sea but i feel like that is true and all sharks have alzheimer's all sharks have alzheimer's you heard it here first folks there you go Oh, but man. Samuel Jackson's speech, and that was like almost independent. It was a good day, speech. Like, yes, it was a good speech. It was, a, and but fuck that fucking shark! Like God, that was <laughs> that's the scene that everyone remembers because it was amazing. It was, like, it was, uh-huh. it, it was good. That's I honestly I didn't think that he would have been one of the ones to go when I well for because I was mm-hmm. a kid and I loved Samuel Jackson and the Negotiator so I was like there's no way they're gonna get yes. this guy off the greatest and then they fucking did and oh, oh so good yeah well, it was well done <laughs> yeah well let's not get crazy but then, like, <laughs> it was as so good as that scene they, could be okay <laughs> yes it was that movie was as good as that movie could have been uh, i won't go and that far <laughs> true. but then so it's like the end part they finally make their way to the top they have to like swim up because mm-hmm. they they've gotten they've reached the height where like the, the building is no longer whatever so they have like there's like this opening shaft that they can use and then like it'll fill up and then they can swim their way out and swim up so that's what they do and then why did she I forgot there was the shark was going it was like daytime at this point so they make it to the surface the sharks are now they're in open fucking water trying to find land somewhere that they can get on and there was a shark that was going after I think which one of them was it Thomas Jane that was struggling to get to one part or he like yeah he was trying to get up on like a on something and he couldn't and the shark was going after him so the lady scientist she like cut her hand so the shark would come and it went for her instead, but I didn't expect it to eat her right there, and it did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was also they were very good with the unexpected death. That's yeah. true. Yeah. No, they, yeah. they definitely. Yeah, no, it fucking ate her like whole, didn't it? Like, but the thing oh is, oh my god, yeah. it was brutal. No, it didn't. It ate did her it? half because then the leg part floated away and was. Oof. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> these are things I remember from my childhood, and I feel like this explains a lot about me that I haven't watched this movie in years. I'm doing this off of memory, just so we're clear. That's and awesome. I feel like this says a lot about me. As a, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much how I was raised. So, way to go, mom. But, um, <laughs> like, yeah, so that she died. I mean, at least it was quick, I'm sure. Was it? I mean, she's still alive inside the shark. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing, like Jurassic Park. That that's the stuff that always freaks me out the most. Is like, yeah, they're not you don't die dead. When you're stuck in half. N- yeah, not even that. Like, even when like like, I bring up Jurassic Park. Like the like the lawyer death. He he's yeah. not dead yet. Mm-hmm. He's just yeah. in a stomach. Yep. That freaks me out. That is like, ooh, that freaks me out real hard so pat doesn't want to be digested ever yeah i don't think anybody uh can uh can say that yeah no i don't think anybody wants Ugh. i don't think it's the worst way to go what being slowly digested you get burned in by stomach acid yeah and getting broken down systematically and little by little oh no you're drowning I in agree. there too what do you think's in the stomach <laughs> Yeah. There's no air. You're going to suffocate before anything because there's only some like if I mean that's all a pressurized area to begin with. If there even and is also, air. 
So I mean, their their teeth are are made for like you know the extreme mastication. So really, like wh- how? I mean, would the chewing kill you before you even got to that point? A like, shark might just much- because of all Maybe. the the rows of the teeth. Well, shark no. The shark, a shark's not gonna chew on you because that's the thing; it just bites anyway. And, that's true, and, but I mean, in the true. in the context of the movie, yeah. like just because of all the rows of teeth, like and they're large enough that mm-hmm. they might actually, it's not gonna be outright still, but yeah, it's it's gonna more but, than like yeah. you'll bleed out a lot fucking faster. So yeah, because that's the thing; like the shark, it, that initial bite is what's supposed to paralyze you like that's supposed to be it's not like it doesn't eat you in one bite it's taking that chunk out of you so you're not going anywhere else yeah and then shock sets in yeah remember they have they have rows of teeth too yeah so i mean they don't have the first row of teeth like when they bite you you got like seven rows of fucking teeth going inside of you yeah that's why people pull great white teeth out of their legs when they're done like fuck that (laughs) But again, <laughs> fuck the ocean and fuck Australia because that's where everything. Well, I still want to go to Australia, but anyway, like it's just, a, it's just a bad time in the ocean and uh, deep blue sea. So then she sacrifices herself, and that's how they get out. But then the shark makes. Oh no, that's what was happening. The shark was bum rushing that fence that's around it because it wanted to get into the oh, water. Yeah. And they're like, that shark cannot get out because it's too fucking smart. It'll kill everything. So they're at this point, they're just trying to kill the shark, and that's when she knows she was trying to like. She oh she accidentally killed herself. That's what happened because she yeah she was trying to s- save the guy. I'm watching it right now, by the way. Oh, are you? yeah. <laughs> and then, but then she turns around and she tries to climb up on that ladder, but then like the cement breaks it, up, so she can't get yeah, the next and it wrong. grabs her underneath. Is she the main female or is she because there's yeah. another yeah because there's somebody else yeah, there with a them. Lot. Current, yeah, there's a few. She's the main female though. Okay, which that to me is surprising. Uh, more than anything, I could see the dude dying, but not the the chick, chick you know, final girl. Yes, so. I know. Well, that's why they really again they changed it. The fu- and that's the thing. Like Thomas Jane, you knew he was going to live because he's like the mm-hmm. bad shark guy, whatever. Like not necessarily. Everyone else, like, I yeah, oh, well, they- yeah, you did know that because of the whole scene she she described in the beginning where he was swimming and riding and all that, that shit. He's yeah, that he can take care yeah. of himself. Okay. You know that he had that big dick energy, like the way Drew said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's when he and he does his thing to try to, because then the shark starts going for the fence again. And he's like, fuck, like it's still going. So that's when he gets in the water to try to distract it. And he pulls his little sharky maneuver where he like gets on it and he's riding it. And then LL Cool J has that harpoon gun and he shoots the shark, but it also goes through Thomas Jane's leg. So then he's in. So then like, he, the shark gets through the the hole in the fence because it's a chain link fence. Why not? And then so it gets through that again. <laughs> things that make sense. So, but he's like Thomas Jane's holding onto the fence, so it rips through his like the harpoon that's and it like rips through his leg. The shark gets out, but then they have like an explosive on. So like the shark, you know, you think the shark's like getting out, but then it detonates and everything's safe, and then. They're joking at the end. Thomas Jane makes it back next to L Cool J. And these guys leg in the water. And he's like, sure, we got all the sharks. And then Thomas Jane pulls his leg out of the water. And it's just like... Now, wait, there was three sharks in this, right? There were. Yeah. Yeah, three three of the smart sharks. There was that one. There was the one that... Oh, L Cool J killed the third one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so yeah, it was that Yeah, it was that one. And then the one that she electrocuted. And then that third one. The one at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that movie um, is also probably added to my anxiety because I already didn't like water. I just didn't yeah, that's not really something that you watch when you're already afraid of something. That is yeah. that well, is gasoline on think, the fire. Like, I don't think that I knew at the time I watched this that I was afraid of water. Like I never like going into like even like the deep end of pools and stuff like that. Like I always was the kid that imagined there was a shark there. Like I used to have nightmares that there was a shark in like the pool that we had in my backyard when I was a kid. Like I just always, but I've never, I'm not afraid of sharks. Like I really want to swim with them. Like that's kind of, and that's that whole, like I, I joke about the do something you're afraid of, but like I, that's why I'm covered in tattoos. because I'm terrified of needles. Like I, Mm -hmm. my big thing is like, I really want to, I want to go like scuba diving with sharks really fucking bad. Yeah. That sounds so cool. 
I know. Like right? scuba and diving, like going in a shark cage. Well, no. I mean, or I would be in literally a swimming with them. Yeah, I know. I would no, go no, in a no, fucking no. shark cage. Do, like, I don't want to do the great white shark thing. Like, I want to baby step into it where you do the whole. No, like, everyone, man. Like, Let's do it. it. Like, we're Send closer it. to the. We're closer <laughs> to the surface, and you get like the nurse sharks and like the lemon sharks and the ones no. that are. Like, oh, okay. If we're gonna fucking do it. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it. Cause I'm gonna do take it baby once. steps. It's either gonna do one or two things it. for me. It's either gonna make me okay with the ocean, or it's gonna make me really not okay with the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, way. yeah. Way. and it's gonna be an immediate I honestly, reaction. I honestly probably would. I would want to be on the boat watching someone like going to like the Great White area. Like I would love to see a Great White in person. I think that that would be yeah. I mean, I, I would. I that even. stuff would be cool just to see. <laughs> the the thing is, like, I I know that I would not be able to just watch somebody else do it, because mm -hmm. if I do that, I will probably not do it. I I, yeah. I need to I need to be the first. Yeah, I'm the opposite. And, and that's and that's it. Like, just send it, man. Just send it. Yeah. Let's see what happens. No. Jesus, take the wheel. I need to watch someone else do it and survive, and then I'm like. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I mean, I, like, yeah. that. I can understand. That. I've seen that enough on like TV and shit. Like, I, I, I know. Like, yeah. fine. Let's just do it, man. Yeah. Oh. I could do it, but I need to see someone like at my level do it. There we go. Like, mm. I would do it with like a friend and watch them do it first. But like, other than that, I would sit on the boat <laughs> so again. The the friend can die. That's fine. You uh -huh. you get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Look, if you're brave enough to do it, then you know what you're signing up for. There you, there you go. go. Yeah, true. So when are we going to do this? All right. <laughs> so Pat's gonna be the one going to the cage, and then afterwards I decide if he lives. If I want. If you decide that I live. <laughs> yeah. Or if the shark decides yeah. that you live. They have head down there. I look at them, and I'm like, open the cage. <laughs> like, let's have some fun with it. <laughs> let's, get, let's make this a little interesting. I'm bored. Well, uh, again. All right. That's uh that's a that's a dumb movie, that's I gotta say. Idea. Really? I like that I mean, movie. Don't, don't and I, I think it holds up you can I think it holds dumb, up well for being twenty one years old. It it could be dumb yeah. but still good. Like there's a dip like Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like a lot of the shit like super you know, super brainy sharks and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making the best predators on the planet. Yeah. And they like mm -hmm. it's it's the Jurassic Park fun like concept of like yeah. you made Velociraptors. Yeah. Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like this thing that's literally a killing machine. Let's make it smart too. Like that's the one thing we have over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's <laughs> let's even the odds. So <laughs> make it interesting. Should make it up a bit. Which isn't even fair because we didn't even have that great of odds in the ocean anyway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, uh, they fucking let's see them come up here. I'll fight any shark yeah. up here. Fuck them. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. You kidding me? You bring a smart ass nerd shark up here. Bring it in my fucking. Oh, look how smart right you now. are. Me, 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 me. <laughs> you don't have legs. You can't even walk. <laughs> no. Eugene, what was your choice? Uh, actually, I got a movie that just came out not too long ago. It came out three I... years ago, and I thought I was it... going to see about it. Go on, sorry. Ah, it came out three years ago, and they actually just came out with a sequel which I didn't know how they were going to make a sequel, but they did and had absolutely nothing to do with the first movie. But um, did, have either of you guys seen 47 Meters Down? I've heard of it. Ah, well, it's time. Didn't want to watch that one because I was so, like, I still haven't seen, like, what's the newer one with Kristen Stewart that came underwater. out? That was, like, that, underwater. Underwater. So it's just called Underwater? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's easy to know. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually heard pretty decent things about that movie. Do you like Alien? I that's funny because that's the other movie that I yeah. that's the other movie that I was going to talk about. If you like yeah. if you like Nothing. Alien, then you'll like this because it's literally Alien but underwater. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's the thing. I don't want to be underwater, so I'll just watch Alien. <laughs> <laughs> that's completely fair. It, uh, she literally wakes up in a, like a white tank top and panties, yeah, like, Sigourney oh, style. Yeah. So. I appreciate yeah. it, but it's fuck it, but it's fucking Kristen Stewart, and she's got short hair, so she I was mean, doing like, like the whole butch hair, type so I'm okay thing. With whatever. But you know what? I hate Kristen Stewart. Like I, I saw this movie begrudgingly. I went and saw this movie because you know it, it. The trailer made it look decent, 
you know, because I got that I got that alien underwater Dude, this, vibe the suits from it. The, the, the suits are literally the space suits from Alien. Yes. They look exactly yes. the same. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. I know. When I've been watching like, the trailer and everything, and I was just like, oh, it looks so good. So, yeah. I But that's what, like, I with movies that have like, come out underwater i need to i need to prepare <laughs> that's fair that's fair you have to be in a mental state to be able to do that yeah 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 that, now wait a minute pat did you see it underwater yeah, yeah i saw it oh okay all right so you liked it i appreciated it okay there were parts of it to me that got like okay it got kind of dumb at, at times yeah, yeah. i mean the uh, ending I, yeah the ending was like okay it well lovecraft there we go again and again that's yeah that's what i was going to yeah. talk about i didn't really you know what i didn't dig the movie too much i i appreciate the fact that the movie started like there was no build up or anything strong. like it right boom yeah right off it the was bat great. it started fucking fucked just up to describe like she's like what she's showering or she's getting ready to take a shower or something like that and then yes. just giant explosion Yep. you're just as you know trying to figure out what's going disoriented on disoriented as she is yeah yeah it's it's uh they they did it well it's right around a third of the way maybe halfway through the movie where you dis where you discover what's going on it's like all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. like, it's mm -hmm. eh, whatever <laughs> i mean it, it, it tried to build up the suspense it tried to build up all that stuff i mean it had christian stewart which for me that's that's just awful but it had uh vincent casale in it who's this uh french actor he's been in oh, a ton of movies great. uh he's here a, he's, he's a classic awesome. he is awesome uh tj miller was in it but he was he wasn't in it that long he was dead pretty quick yeah, yeah, which that surprised the shit out of me. There was a ton of other people in the movie, but a lot of like no name actors. Yeah. Which you know, I think it played to the I think that played to the movie. Yeah, it did. I, I, I appreciated the fact that it was short. It was only an hour and thirty five minutes. That's true. Um it, it's it's it, it was it was good. Again, it's you know, a crew of uh of researchers that are working for a, a deep sea drilling company and you know, they're trying to get uh to safety because there's like a mysterious earthquake that that happens, which is the explosion that happens at the beginning of the movie. And, you know, you try to figure out, you know, they're trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening. They're trying to get from one side of the, the research facility to the other because it's it's the one side is filling up with water. Then you find out it's this fucking monster that's fucking terrorizing them and going, you know, uh, after them. I, for the most part, I appreciated the movie. It was the gore was 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 pretty good. The effects were pretty good. The effects um, were the, the honestly design was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 thing that got me that that had me from from disliking the movie to not loving it, but between like and loving it was the big monster reveal at the end. Where it was literally Cthulhu. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, really? It's literally Cthulhu. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. why you find out you find out that the, the monster that was terrorizing them inside the research facility wasn't really Cthulhu. It was one of like, remember how, the only way I can describe it, remember how uh, in Cloverfield, they, uh, they had those little tiny monsters that were in the subway system yeah. and yet they ended up being like fleas on the bigger monster. That's what this monster is. This monster was like a little tiny minion monster that was part of Cthulhu. Yeah. And Cthulhu was the big monster yeah. At the end, yeah, it was that was terrorizing and you know, conquering or trying to take over the world or whatever. And they, it was and, a stereotypical. Right. You woke up something that you shouldn't have thing. It's yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah, fine. yeah. It was cheesy and shit. Yeah, but I listen. It was it was cool. I liked the design. Like I recognized it right away when they showed you know that the, when they had the big Cthulhu reveal at the end. Yeah, that was cool. It didn't have he didn't have the wings, but I mean, you saw I'm that it was to, him. Like you you see the face. Is it like it's not. Is it a like a big wide shot of the whole thing, or is it like just the face? Yeah, I can't remember. No, no, no. They, they had a wide shot because if you remember when uh, I think at the very end they were getting away. Yeah, and then you see yeah, the, they, right. they were looking and then, back, yeah, and, then and she, you see the big. She yeah. lets the couple go uh, because yes. it's new love or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I, I'll give her this: she goes down like a boss. She does. She goes down like she a does. boss. I actually. I don't say like I like Kristen Stewart. I don't. But and I could I understand 
people who don't, but like I, I like some of the movies she's been in have actually been decent. So that's what like I've heard that she's a lot less bad. That well, that it's oh. kind of the same thing. Like she was. Well, her thing was like she. She got typecast a like a motherfucker. She did. She got however, typecast like a mother. However, she didn't mm. really try to make the best of it. Like her acting was shit. Yes. And then, like, kind of roles that she was in around that time were all kind of the same. Where she was just very like aloof and just kind of yeah. like you. You kind of look at her and you just kind of want to wave your hand in front of her eyes. Like, are yeah. You, are you here right now? Like, kind yeah. of like that's. So I like snap out of it. That. Yeah. And that's why people stopped. That's why people stopped casting her and and stuff like yep. that. And she kind of fell out of everything because it was just like, oh. But she kind of she got her shit wrote together. A patent for herself. Yeah. yeah. She, where she just was just like, all right, I'm gonna start doing this now and taking these roles, and it, it seems like it's working for her. I mean, I heard. Yeah, but is it? Really bad. She's but she's, she's, she, she, she's in this movie, and then they had her in that that awful Charlie's Angels movie that I didn't watch but because she was i wanted that movie to be good (laughs) see it was just it's just it's i i don't know i i wanted it elizabeth thanks elizabeth thanks i just want to say that i don't have to fucking watch your movie just because i'm a woman eat my fucking vagina (laughs) yeah oh my goodness that was and the carpet does match the drapes because it's blonde yeah boom (laughs) boom yeah is that a boom (laughs) is that a boom i don't (laughs) know Is that kind uh, sure. of a boom? <laughs> yeah, boom. Uh, the, the American Ultra, if I remember correctly, was actually kind of fun. That was because of Jesse Eisenberg, yeah, though. But that she, movie was cool. She she did good. Uh, can't she played a pothead? I mean, Which, come on. I mean, that's pretty much. Thing, that's but she casting. figured out a way to turn her typecast into something good. Yeah, like that's like if you're gonna if you're gonna be the aloof person. Be the aloof yeah. person that's entertaining to watch. Yeah. Like the like yeah. you know, make do what you will with it. I think no, I think she finally got the, her shit together. Listen, she, she was good in Panic Room, room and I was because she was a little girl in Jodie Foster, Foster and Jared Leto. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I could when she was right. originally in Twilight. I looked, I was like, why do I know that girl? Yeah. And I yep. was thinking, I was like, holy shit, is that the kid from Panic Room? Yep. Yeah, I love that movie. It's Apparently such a good she movie. made a movie called Seaberg and it um it does not seem to have done good. Also, did we just make underwater Pat's movie? We can. I think, I think we, we did. We can. <laughs> if we, uh, I mean, we did. We did. We did. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I kind of didn't have one. So I have a game. There we go. I have a yeah. game. But movie wise. Or is it Bioshock? No. Oh, oh that would have been a good one, though. Uh, oh, yeah. No, was, so that's the first one my mind just went on to. That God damn it! That's funny. I was literally sitting here, like maybe I can think of a game, and I did not, for the life of me, think of it at all. So uh, I was gonna go with for those who can't see. Yeah, I was gonna go with Soma, fingers. but uh, hmm. all right, no, no, Bioshock is a, is right. a much better, it's a much better game. But no, underwater, the aesthetics and the mood I actually really liked. Yeah, the the whoever did the costumes and set design, great. Yep. Um, at the ending to me just kind of. The ending to me just kind of like, all right. But it did not overstay its welcome. He is great. It was an it hour did and it. a half. And it's so yeah. you know what? If you're gonna in and if out. you're gonna have a kind of a weakish second half, fine. Make it quick. Yep, that's the way to do it. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Make it fast, start the action right away, and end that shit. Yep. Yeah, so at nice. least like if I'm mad about it, I didn't spend two hours waiting for it. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Yes. That's so much painful. Yep, one hundred percent. All right. Well, uh, moving on from All right. From that. Well, I was I was gonna talk about forty seven meters down before we started talking about underwater. Tell <laughs> oh, yeah, me about it. Totally. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you don't because I was like, okay, well this is Pat's thing now. You don't get <laughs> to talk. <laughs> so 47 meters down i you know what this is one of those movies that i like i said i i i went and saw it like on a saturday afternoon bored out of my mind by myself and i'm like there's nothing else to watch i'll go check this out and first off i'm gonna i'm gonna say it out loud i am not a mandy moore fan fuck that this is us show that everybody's trying to get me to fucking watch because supposedly you cry every episode hey. That's what I heard. Why? That's what like everyone like. Obviously, I'm a woman, so everybody's like, "You should be watching." Yeah, yeah. Want to do that? 
Yeah. You're literally telling me that these people are like dying in horrible fires and shit. And I yeah. Oh, that sounds. Us? Oh yeah. No. no. I, you, you mentioned that now. I know of it. I'm like, no, that sounds depressing. Why do I want that? Yeah. It's so <laughs> sad. Like. Yeah. No. 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 I don't no, like no. watching people be sad and imagining no. myself in sad situations. Yeah. Like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody's like, you got to watch this show. You'll cry, you'll cry every episode. No, I don't want to do that. But it's Mandy Moore. And pretty much everything with Mandy Moore in it, I don't want to watch because I think she plays the same character in everything that she is. And wasn't she a singer before she was an actor anyways? She was. She had her hit single, Candy. Yes, yes. I think it wasn't her. I want to say her acting debut was either in The Princess Diaries as a small role or was a walk to rem- no she was already established when a walk to remember yeah yeah she was i'm pretty sure yeah yeah but it just anything with mandy moore i'm not a, i'm not a fan of and it has like this other chick her name's claire holt uh from the vampire diaries and i guess she's uh she was Wait, on the spinoff too ah shit she hold on let me look it up let me look it up real, i can real tell real you that here. she was a voice in dr doolittle too <laughs> mandy moore <laughs> Mandy Moore specifically. She, she's in the Vampire Diaries and she's on the originals. Uh Mandy Moore also played Aerith in um what's it called? Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Final Fantasy Seven. There we go. I was gonna say like the remake is she played no. M- Rebecca Michelson. Mickelson. That's who uh Claire Holt played on uh Vampire Diaries and the Originals. Oh yeah, I see I see oh, her now. Yeah. yeah, I recognize her. Okay. She was also in Mean Girls 2. There was a sequel to Mean Girls? Apparently. Mean Girls 2? In 2011. Oh, there was. I watched it once on Netflix. Oh. I don't remember it because I was drunk. The, uh, <laughs> I think that tells us enough right there. So, <laughs> And the other the other actor of, of note in this movie, because it's full of... I mean, it's it's pretty much like a, like a two-person movie and sharks, but uh, Matthew Modine is in it. Uh, for anybody who was born after 1990, Matthew Modine is, was the dad in was Eleven's quote unquote father in the first season of Stranger Things. OK. Yes. Um, he was also. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And also other people who are listening. Not just me. Yes. Not just Pat. Yeah. Uh, so basically this movie after i watched it i was actually pleasantly surprised i can see why it it they made a sequel the only thing is i i don't know how again i don't know how they 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 ended up making a sequel that had absolutely nothing to do with the original but um the basic premise of the movie is mandy moore and claire hall are sisters they're taking a vacation to mexico um mandy moore's boyfriend ends up breaking up with her uh while she's in mexico I don't know how that had any bearing to this movie. Yeah, we are. They, uh, the, the girls ended up meet, end up meeting two guys at a hotel bar. The two guys invite them to go shark watching, to go in a shark cage and do that shit. So they go out to sea. Um, they both don't know how to fucking scuba dive, but they go out there anyway. As a, uh, as a not Modine, female, I feel like that's a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So they go out, they go out to, to, to the boat. The captain of the boat is Matthew Modine, all blonde haired and young looking. And he talks a lot of Spanish, which I can appreciate. And uh, they go out to sea. They look at the shark cage. The shark cage is like this rusty fucking shark cage. It's not like any shark cage that you see in movies. Like normally when you see a shark cage in a movie, it's all nice and pristine and and flashy and 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 steel for, not all rust for a reason this one's all <laughs> rust <laughs> something that will stop a shark's jaws what you're saying yeah. yes yes so you think that you know that the, the rust you're looking at it you're like all right this is gonna have some play in the movie something's gonna happen here so they go down the two guys uh that they met at the bar go down first they look at the sharks they're like oh look at the sharks they are these big 20 24 foot great white sharks that are swimming around in the area so then the girls decide to go in. Mandy Moore is all weird. And she's like, I don't want to go. I'm so nervous. They're like, don't worry about it. Just go. They get in the shark tank, in the shark uh, cage. They go down. They're loving it. All of a sudden, the winch that's bringing down the shark cage snaps. And the cage drops. How far down does it drop? 47 meters down. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 
So it goes down to the bottom of, to the bottom of the ocean, well, 47 meters down to hit the bottom of the ocean. They're running out of air on their from their tanks. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Then this is when this is when the movie actually gets pretty good because it becomes like a two person movie. The sisters are down in the shark cage. They're stuck on the bottom of the ocean. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Their radios are they're barely communicating with the with the boat through their radios because they're so far down yeah. on the ocean floor. And all of a sudden, the sister decides she looks out and she sees that one of the other guys, they, they heard through the radio that one of the other guys that they came with went dove in to try to find them. So, but they see the light. It looks like it's 47 meters away. So they see a flashlight. The one sister, the chick from the, uh, from the vampire diaries decides that she's going to swim out there to try to get, try to try to find the guy that doesn't happen. So Mandy Moore's character decides to go out and try to find the guy. They go, she finds a flashlight. She doesn't find the guy. She turns around, which was actually a pretty good jump scare. She turns around. The guy's like, get back to the cage. And then the fucking shark just comes out and fucking bites his ass. Done. Gone. So she goes, tries to swim back to the cage because it's so dark under the water. She forgets where she came from and she can't see which direction she came from. Yeah, this actually, this movie played a lot into like those phobias of being stuck in the middle of the ocean underwater, not knowing where the fuck you are. Yeah. Anyway, I, I liked it. I liked it. Um, and, uh, so, <laughs> so Mandy Moore grabs a flashlight, doesn't know where she's going. Um, she, he brings, uh, uh, Javier is the fucking, the guy's name, uh, that got eaten by the shark. Uh, he brought a winch with him. So two names when you were an ethnic man <laughs> in a movie, but not a main character. Specifically a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> Javier and Juan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or Juan, Jose. Juan or Javier. Which one are you? <laughs> Pedro. Would you like the Pedro? Pedro. Pedro. So Mandy Moore grabs a flashlight, grabs a grabs a winch, which he brought with it. She goes back to the cage. The sister's there. She's like, we're gonna be saved. They connect the fucking winch to the to the cage they start going up and then all of a sudden the actual line that's connected to the winch that snaps so the cage goes back down Oof. back 47 meters down this time though mandy moore's leg was sticking out of the shark cage so when the cage dropped it impaled her like Ooh, stuck her ow. between the, the ocean floor and the and the cage ow. so she's stuck she's stuck so and tetanus. And she has tetanus because of the fucking rust. So all of a sudden, it lands on her leg. The uh, Matthew Modine's character with the radio, they're like, we're running out of air. He was like, we're going to shoot two tanks down for you. So he drops two air tanks. The uh, Vampire Diary sister ends up going out to go get the tank. She comes back. She gets fucking eaten by a shark. So she's all fucked up. Boom! They just hit. And I'm telling you, the scenes... With the fucking sharks, it was cool. I found out later, uh, reading about it, that they were they didn't use any like real sharks or anything. All the sharks were CGI. They and look it like doesn't it. look I, like I, the I, sharks. The screenshots are, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. It, I thought they looked pretty good oh, for being I'm CGI not sharks. That they're bad. Just I, you know, I just can't yeah. tell. You know, if, see, that's like a perfect scenario to use CGI. Like it's foggy, it's muddy, like you can't see yeah. outlines yeah. of things. That is a perfect yeah. time to use it. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was, uh, it, 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 I mean, just, just, just the jump scares and just, you know, seeing the fucking sharks just show up out of the blue and then, rah, and then disappear and then come back and you don't know where the fuck the sharks are coming from. And I think there was like two or three sharks, uh, in this. So she ends up, uh, who, who was it? Who Mandy was it? Moore. Oh yeah. So then Mandy Moore is stuck on the, on the shark cage, uh, uh impaled or is it impaled? No, it's not impaled. Impaled is really going through you. When, when, like, when, when you're stuck under on something on top of her or is it no she's in the shark cage her leg is she's sitting down her one leg is under the cage like it went through one of the holes <gasps> oh, of the cage okay and it's stuck and the cage is on top of it so laying on foot's, top of it. her foot's just stuck or her legs just stuck under. her leg is stuck underneath okay. the cage yeah so um yeah the sister gets attacked by the shark then you hear something in the radio where before the sister got attacked by the shark, Matthew Modine's character tells her that 
even though they're getting a brand new tank of oxygen to watch it because is it nitrous or nitrogen? They get they, there's too much nitrogen. If it goes into your body, it could go up into your brain. Yeah. And that's actually a thing. You start. Yeah, you start hallucinating. You start hallucinating. So they told the, they, he told them to watch each other. So that way they don't hallucinate and get all fucking weird. So the sister gets attacked by the shark. Mandy Moore. Oh, she got She get before that happened. They dropped down. What was it? Oh, no, no, no. When Javier Javier had a flashlight and he had a spear gun. I forgot about the spear gun. So Mandy Moore grabbed the spear gun. They got the spear gun in the, in the shark cage. So her sister ends up getting eaten by the fucking shark or attacked by the shark. Then Mandy Moore uses a spear gun, the arrow from the spear gun, to grab one of the tanks to connect the fucking tank to herself. She connects the tank and then it kind of... It kind of changes. Like she gets her wits about her. Then she uses, which I thought about it. She used like a backpack or some pack. I don't know where the fuck she got it from. Put it underneath the shark cage, pulled the cord, and it started inflating. So, so it started, started inflating. So, it brought the shark cage so it's like a life vest. Yeah. yeah. So she was, yeah. yeah. So she was able to like rip her fucking, she literally ripped her leg out from underneath Ow. the uh, the shark cage. So it starts bleeding and shit. And, and she gets a cage. Uh, she gets a cage off her and she goes, she, she takes off. She goes out of the shark cage. She goes out. She ends up finding her sister. Her sister didn't die, but she has really bad shark bites on her. Yeah. They start going up and, and ascending up to, to, to shore to the top of the, to, to where the boat is. But the thing is that when you're that far down on the bottom of the ocean, you can't go up too fast because you get the bends, which means like the nitrogen goes into your brain and it fucking kills you. Not only that, you can like legit collapse a lot. Yeah, like your yes. the pressure is changing. Yeah. Yes, to acclimate at each yep. level. We actually, yep. um, yeah, my father-in-law, he was scuba diving with someone that that happened to that their lung collapsed because they <laughs> that is that. insane. That's, that's scary. So they use that as a plot point in the movie where they were going up and she can hear Matthew Modine's character. She's like, all right, we're going up. He's like, don't go up too fast. He was like, you got to stop every few meters for five minutes and you got to stay there and then ascend some more. So the one scene, which was pretty cool, they had, to, they had a couple of flares also. They end up going up, they stop, they're good. They go up, they stop. Mandy Moore's character lights up a flare there's fucking five sharks right around them, <laughs> circling them. Oh, that's good. And about to bite their ass. And if it wasn't for the flare, they would have got fucking eaten up. <laughs> so that's cool. All of a sudden, yeah. So they run out of flares. They go up, and this was actually the cool scene. I think they just did this uh, just for effect because if they would have ended it the way that I'm going to tell you that they ended the movie without doing this whole scene, the movie would have sucked. Mm -hmm. So they go, they go up and they they buy they're by the boat they're like come get us the sister has her fucking you know she's she's got a gnarled leg all of a sudden as they're swimming as they're swimming to the boat a shark goes and grabs mandy moore's leg and starts fucking chomping on that so she gets attacked they're trying to swim they finally go both on the boat and they're both laying there and you think they're fine but they're laying there and they do like this wide shot overhead facing down and you see the sister's got a gnarled leg mandy moore's got a super gnarled leg that actually the practical effects were awesome on this and um then all of a sudden mandy moore looks at her hand she cut her hand previously when she was down stuck in the um she cut her hand with the spear gun mm -hmm. when she was trying to get the oxygen tank and she looks at her hand and the blood starts coming out of her hand and it looks like it's floating like it's floating in the air Ooh, that's cool yeah, and she was like, oh, look at my hand, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. She hallucinated that whole fucking scene. She was still stuck on the bottom of the oh. ocean floor in the shark cage. That's what a hell of so a hallucination. She, <laughs> she hallucinated that whole thing, the flares, the fucking ascending up, the shark attack, all of that. So uh, you would think, actually for me, that would have been the perfect way to end that fucking movie. It's right there to be like, she dead. But within like a few seconds, the Coast Guard shows up, deep sea divers show up, and they uh they save her and she's fine. But what happened though, Javier died, her sister definitely fucking died. Um, and, and yeah, everything got fucked up. But yeah, she survived. So uh, the movie over overall, I think you know what those those scenes and, and like the way you know drew you were describing earlier like all your fears <laughs> under the water like you know not seeing shit like in front of you very well or 
they played him extremely well. Like there were some scenes where I was like, <gasps> like I was like holding my breath because I was like, shit, me, I would not want to be to in me, that scenario that, at all. Most types of movies, like if you're going to do it, like play to the area that you're in, like going, yeah. going back to the deep blue sea thing, like they really didn't like it's sharks. So obviously mm-hmm. sharks yeah. equal scary, but it's not like yeah. Yeah. the water aspect, whereas the water is also an enemy mm-hmm. uh, as, yeah. as well. That sounds, uh, that sounds like they actually played it well. That sounds weirdly fun, I guess would be the way of calling it. It was, it was. And, and then when the sequel came out, I, I ended up watching the sequel and it wasn't nearly as good. It, it, it was a whole different story. Yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't as good. This one, this one, it, 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 it used it was very minimal with everything that they use. Like the story was pretty, pretty straightforward, nothing extra, two characters, you know, two main characters and sharks and that's it. And all they, and they played into every fear that you would have. If you have a fear of the Are ocean, they able to talk to each other under the water. Yes. Okay. I was going to say like, yeah. how are like, is it like, is that be one hell of a movie if they're just like to each other? Yeah. Well, they had, they had these face masks that, that add, that put the oxygen, that pump the oxygen inside the masks, mm-hmm. but they can talk too. They could talk to each other and they could, they could talk through like the radio. Okay. But yeah, overall, I mean, it was a good movie. Another, it's a lean movie, an hour and 29 minutes. It wasn't bad. And honestly, I was surprised that it was PG 13. Really? With how, with, with how graphic that, you know, some of the, some of like the bites and, and the scenes, the kill scenes well, were. That's the, but that's yeah, the other you get away thing. With that though. That's the other when thing. When they do like PG 13. They do yeah. that a lot. Like I feel like they, if, if there's not nudity, there's probably not as much swearing, or maybe they allow one f bomb. But like as long as they do that, they they allow a relatively decent amount of gore in some PG thirteen. Well, that movies. also yeah. the sharks like the cuts obviously gory, but it's not like a slasher. Like they grab yeah. you and yeah. go. Like it, yeah. it's yeah. it's or they take the chunk and then go. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not like you know like everything's. Blooding up everywhere. Yeah. So like when when you say that they just like came and went like that to me, like that is what it actually is. As a like mm-hmm. when it's just like gone and like that, yeah, that's cool in a scary way. Like again, <laughs> but it sounds like they actually played it properly. They did. It was it was a when it came out, it was a surprise hit. So you know, two years later they made another one. No, well. well. Who's that? Either way. Uh, what's next? Oh, I just saw a screenshot of the flare scene. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. that's that's fucking yeah. Uh, I love I'm a sucker for lighting. Like if you have like a mm-hmm. cool lighting scene, oh yeah. That's good. Yeah. So that's it. I mean it's on Netflix now, so you can actually catch I it on Netflix. Probably not watch it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds like I've I don't think my anxiety can handle it right now with yeah. everything going on. So maybe in the, the future. The screenshots are doing right plenty now. for me right now. So there's that. Drew, I think you should watch it. You should put it on a TV tonight before you go to bed. Ooh. And well, I watch it as you go to sleep. Until I have to be up. So not tonight. <laughs> all right. Well, well that, that was, was that, that was all I got. got. All right. All right. So we good? I I, I yeah. I don't really have. Anything else? Because I don't watch a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, I opened the show. I had news. We talked about our movies. We had three movies, Deep Blue Sea, Underwater, and 47 Meters Down. Uh, all three. We Do we recommend all three that people watch? Yeah. I would recommend yeah. if yeah. you Definitely have a subscription. Un- like yes. Underwater. Like, I wouldn't necessarily yes. go out of your way to purchase it, but if, if you have okay. it on something, yes. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Um, Deep Blue Sea, if you are one of those people right now that is, I know a lot of people are, um, you know, not shopping Amazon and everything, but if you want to spend the $4 and buy it, I support it 100% because I fucking love that movie and you should too. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. I'm surprised I don't own it. That actually really is surprising. Yeah. yeah. You own everything. Oh, I do have a lot. I do have a lot. All right. Well, that's uh, that's about it. Actually, I want to give a, a a shout out real quick to um, we have a fan who gave us a a really really nice review on Facebook. 
His name is Hunter. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. We have he, fans. Uh, he ended up, he, he gave us a, an awesome review. Hunter, thank you. I guess the last couple of weeks during this whole uh, shutdown, he's been binge listening every episode from episode one to our current episode. Oh, no. So, Hunter, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, pal. <laughs> All right, Drew, you want to close this out? Sure, I guess. Um, <laughs> if you would like to reach us, you can, or is it everything still the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's still the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, you can reach us at TerraTrioPodcast at gmail.com. We are also on Twitter at TerraTrioCast, Instagram and Facebook, TerraTrioPodcast. Um, yeah, if you want to reach out, you can leave us reviews on Facebook and stuff. That would be lovely. If you want to leave us reviews on, if you're listening through iTunes, that would, iTunes, iTunes. I, iTunes. <laughs> We're going down to I iTunes. To that, iTunes. iTunes. I don't talk real good. Um, if you're from the South, try not to be offended. Um, I think that's about <laughs> all we got. Oh, Patreon too. We have that. Yep. Don't we? We sell the Patreon. Yes. Nope. Oh, it's there. Um, yep. So, and obviously all of our links are on everything where you're already listening. So yeah. And you're already listening to us. So you know where to find us. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for listening. So for Terror 51, we'll, we'll get this, we'll get this right eventually. Just, just... <laughs> I'm Eugene with... Which one of us are you pointing to? I, I know. Oh, shit. I'm pointing Drew, you always go second. <laughs> you have always gone second. <laughs> we'll try one more time. All right. For Terror 51, I'm Eugene. Follow me. I'm Drew. <laughs> I'm Pat. And <laughs> we're going to have to and rehearse I'm that a few more times. what I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Love you. Bye.